I bought this digital camera expecting to deliver you video content every week from all the amazing panel discussions and things like that and the author readings that I can go see here in New York, but one year later all I've shown you are a few vacation pictures. That's all going to change. We got some punk rock, lo-fi video content coming straight to you from the publishing spot. Last night I went to a panel discussion hosted by our web video guru, Steve Bryant. He's the guy that runs Hollywood Reporters, uh, Real Pop Blog, I link to it a lot. He's a great guy. Uh, he spoke with four high-powered media executives last night. It's surreal to hear Michael Zimblis, the Vice President of Research and Development at the New York Times, refer to web writers as talent heads and percentages, but I think it's useful to hear what the high-powered mucky-muck executives think about you, the creative talent. I'm just referring to, and I just want to talk about a few as it relates to video as well. Um, we, we have an investment in a company called Brightco, um, and, and we're using Brightco as a, as a platform for uploading music videos. And in, in Boston, our Boston.com site is, is, a, is about a, a four million you know, strong side every month, and again, we touch 70% of the Boston DMA. And, and we're, we're pushing down to get as, as hyper local as possible. Um, and the challenge of doing that is, is, is as you carve up the geography into smaller and smaller pieces, it's harder to offset the cost of the content production with advertising against smaller and smaller areas. So, so that's where sort of the connection between your user generated uh, uh, discussion comes in. So, so we're trying to use the community. Next thing you know, Terry Mackin, the executive vice dire president director of digital media at Hearst Argyle Television, started arguing against the New York Times vice president of development in the uh, panel discussion. He, uh, Terry Mackin started dismissing a little bit the video blogging, lit blogging, internet army that was marching towards his business. Prosumers, uh, it is a pretty hot area right now, and that's good for all of us. But, but ultimately, you can't keep shotgunning video out, and if there will be lots of people, uh, NBC, Universal, and News Corp, to name one, that will try to, 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 to fragment the YouTube uh, marketplace. And if they come up with great content, um, they will cut into that. Uh, there's no, you know, the, the world of, of competition is, is healthy for the consumer, uh, but if it's, you know, I, I would submit that you, and I'm not a Gator fan, but so with all due respect to Michael, I don't know how many times you can see somebody saying, go Gators. You know, if you've got some unique experience and you can capture that on top of professional content and text and people blogging in a community um, who are all Gator fans, I get that. You know? And I, so, you know, in TV, we call it great producing. You know, that the NBC produces the Olympics and, and, and you know, they, they create magic out of sporting events and the stories around sporting events and the stories behind people. We need to translate that to local um, in content development and uh, either through uh, stories that you all know and, and love about your community, and, but it has to be done at a quality standard that makes you want to come back. 